Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is November. It is actually Sunday. Um, and I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I bought recently. Especially the stuff connected to the holiday themed videos that I'm going to be filming this month. Um, mostly, which is I'm going to do some kind of Thanksgiving craft videos and I'm also going to do some food tutorials my first time for both of these so guys bear with me uh i'm filming this on my mac that way i can i have a static camera and i can show you the thing so if you see me like bending and moving around it's because i'm trying to grab stuff out of bags i've actually been holding on to it for a few days because i've been kind of uh busy and kind of out of it and not really wanting to do much but i gathered myself together my husband inspired me he started cleaning so I said, you know what, let me get this stuff out of the way and show you guys and then I can start actually filming the tutorials. I'm going to do a sweet potato pie and an apple pie. And I'm also going to do the crust. I'm not sure, depending on how long the video is, if I'm going to combine them all, if I'm going to do three separate videos, like do the pot, do the pie crust, do the, a pie, and then do a different pie. Um, but I had to buy a couple of things. Like, I didn't have pie plates. A lot of our stuff is packed away because we're, we're with my dad right now. So we don't have a lot of storage. So I'll, some stuff is at, at a friend's house. So I don't know where my pie plates are at the moment. So I just bought some cute ones just to, to show you guys in the video. Um, and I got some craft supplies. Some random stuff. Um, I have some stuff, like I said, I'm planning. So I need to get some... I need to make a more definitive list. But while I was at, like, Walmart and Target... Um, I just grabbed some stuff that I saw that was, looked good. Um, anyway, let me start off with the pie stuff. Um, and oh, my husband also wants to do a video. He wants to do some like healthy, like trail mix bars, granola bars. He wants to do some granola bars, um, some homemade ones. He, um... He got a recipe from someone and we were in Trader Joe's and we saw oatmeal and he was like, let me get that. I was like, okay, well, let's get all the stuff and we might as well do it. So we're going to do that today, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to say hi? Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's tired. I'm tired too. It's been, I had a long day yesterday. I wasn't doing so great and thankfully I got muddy. Um, anyway, let's go into what I got. The first thing I got, I got a few things from Amazon. I bought a few things online. One of which is this dough blender. I've never had one of these before, but I've always, we've always just used a fork when my mom had taught me how to make pies. Um, we just used a fork, but I think that this will be a lot more effective and apparently you can use it for other things. Um, try it for cutting brown sugar into flour to chop or mash hard-boiled eggs and to mix cream cheese into sugar or other dry ingredients um, and it's stainless steel and it's got this this handle along the top so as you can see it's got the blades it's not really super sharp but it's just supposed to cut the butter into the flour to make the pastry um, so that's one thing I got I think it was around 750 this was on Amazon, and the brand is the Spring Chef. Excuse me, I've got a few allergy issues today. Um, I also, there was, I needed a rolling pin. I actually just, I think I got rid of an old rolling pin that was my mom's. That was like, I don't, God knows how old it was. Maybe, I mean, it was at least as old as me, and I'm 33, so that doesn't tell you anything. And the handles were falling off. So I wanted to try this one, which doesn't have the rollers on the side but i think it'll be better so yeah i got this from amazon and it's from a brand called serendipicity i think yeah and it also came with this pastry cutter which i thought hey that's pretty cool i think this was also it was between eight and ten dollars i think and i have the amazon prime so i don't pay for the shipping so or maybe they put the shipping in i don't know Amazon. anyway <laughs> here is the pastry cutter and then the roller for the pie um, and then we went to home goods and we have one pot holder and it's super old and dirty so I got these it's a Cuisinart brand and they're little like just like half things and you stick them in your hands like this 
looks really funny, right? I could do a, a puppet show. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think these were $5. I'm pretty sure. So I'll put that aside. Um, and then the recipe, like I know how to make sweet potato pie, but I was like, you know what? Let me just look up a recipe so I have exact measurements because I, sometimes I'll just look up like, okay, how many eggs exactly? But I know, like I just measure in, I just shake in the spices, you know, I kind of eye the sugar, you know what I mean? Like, but I wanted to actually give you guys a recipe which um, when I do the tutorial, I'll put it in the, the box below. But I also got these little mini uh, pie tins um, from Home Goods. I think these were also $5 and it comes with four. Um, they're really cute. Um, but I figure, you know, I'm gonna, I can't make all of these big pies like, and just where they're gonna sit around the house and go bad or, I mean, I guess I, I think I might be able to freeze them. But either way, I can make a few of these and then I can give them to people. This would be for the sweet potato pie. Um, and then I got this orange pie plate. And it has it actually has a recipe for pumpkin pie. Um, and when I do the sweet potato pie video, I will tell you why I picked sweet potato pie versus pumpkin pie. Anyway, so stay tuned for that. And this was $9.99. And this was from Home Goods. And it's a really beautiful color. It's orange. I figure very, very Thanksgiving, very holiday themed. And then we got a red one, which has this really beautiful pattern inside. I really love it. And it's red here. Um, and it was also $9.99. And it says oven safe, um, microwave safe, dishwasher safe. Um, so that's good. Anyway, and I love the, um, the scalloped edges. So that was that. And then for ingredients, um, I got, we went to Trader Joe's, and so I got some Trader Joe's brown eggs. Um, I also got the Trader Joe's brand of unsalted butter. I've never used unsalted butter. Every recipe, like for, for any type of pastry or dessert, and some other recipes, they call for unsalted butter. I've always ignored it. So anyway, I figured this time, you know what? I'm going to use it and see what happens. <laughs> and then I guess you just put in salt anyway, usually. I don't know. Anyway, and also when I, apple pie, um, I also sometimes put in just a splash of apple cider. Um, so that's why I got this. And I also just like apple cider. So this is the Trader Joe's apple cider. And I got some apples. Uh, traditionally, I always use Macintosh apples for apple pie. So I got the Trader Joe's Macintosh um, Northeast apples. It was I was a little confused because at Trader Joe's they put the apples in this kind of bag and they put Northeast apples and so I'm like looking, and on the bottom of the shelf they put different names of apples, you know Macintosh, Gala, Pink Lady, whatever it might be, and so I was like, but wait, why does it just say Northeast apples? Duh. It's on this white label here. They put Macintosh apples. So, anyway. God knows what kind of apples I've been grabbing because I've just been grabbing bags. And I was like, oh, these are, oh, okay, Northeast apples. And I'm kind of picky about my apples, actually. Oh, my husband, which he totally forgot, and they've been sitting in the bag for, like, two days. He got some um, rainbow pears. And those are just for him to eat because I don't like pears. There you go. Uh, the brown sugar, which we'll use for both the apple pie and the sweet potato pie. Um, I use both white sugar and brown sugar in them. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but that's the way that my mom did it. So that's the way I do it. And I like the way that it tastes. Uh, this will also use for the granola. <laughs> uh, a pear interlude there. Oh, it smells really good, actually. I don't know, maybe I'll try it. Uh, yeah, so the organic Trader Joe's brown sugar. One thing. Um, I also got a couple of the yellow apples. I don't know if they have a particular name. Opal? I don't know if that's the brand name or if that's the name of the, the apple itself. But I got two. 
really huge ones, which I'm going to kind of mix in. Um, like I said, we usually usually mainly use Macintosh, but sometimes we'll mix in a few other kinds. So I got these to mix in just to give it a little differentiation. Uh, I also got the unbleached all-purpose flour. I haven't tried this before. We usually just get gold metal flour, but I got the Trader Joe's unbleached all-purpose flour. So we're going to try this out for the pie dough. So I hope it tastes good. Uh, can you put that aside for me, please? Mm -hmm. And then we got the Trader Joe's, just regular sweet potatoes. Uh, yeah, so this is for the pie. I got a couple of those. So we have some, and then we could also cook some during the week if you like. Uh, okay, I think that's it for the pie. Oh, this is for the sweet potato pies. It's uh, evaporated milk. I do not know the difference between condensed milk and evaporated milk other than recipes call for them. So anyway, I should look that up just for whatever sake in case anyone ever asks me and just for my own peace of mind, like what's the difference? I mean, evaporated, I mean, I get it's, it's a different process versus condensed, but why, like why? Anyway, this is for the sweet potato pies. Uh, I have cinnamon of my own. I don't put nutmeg because my sister's allergic. So yeah, we don't get any nutmeg around here. So that is that for the pies. I don't think I need anything else uh, except maybe, yeah, I think that's it for the pies, pretty much. Uh, and then we got some of the, for the granola bars we're going to try for the first time ever to make, the old fashioned organic oats from Trader Joe's. And we also got some of this Super Seed and Ancient Grain blend, which has buckwheat, millet, chia seed, golden, flaxseed, red quinoa, shelled hemp seed, and am amaranth. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, from Trader Joe's to mix in. It looks super healthy, whatever it is. And we got some nuts. Why do we get two? Oh, you got two? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Somehow we ended up with two of these. It's the Omega Trek mix, uh, dried cranberry and roasted nut blend. And we're gonna pick out the cranberries and then add them back in later. But we need to toast. We need to toast the uh, oats. Yeah. And then we need to toast the nuts and seeds. So I don't know. I guess it gives them maybe some more flavor mm -hmm. and some more crunchiness. Um, and also, which I already had, which I got online from Thrive Market, the coconut oil, um, which I think we're going to use a little bit of butter, a little bit of coconut oil to kind of bind it together once we mix everything together. And we're going to put a little bit of chocolate maybe, um, which is the Ghirardelli chocolate chip. Um, I got these a while ago just from the regular grocery store. Um, so we're going to add some of the chocolate chips just to give it a little bit of extra oomph. Um, I also just randomly got Trader Joe's orange juice. Uh, I have lemons. That's also another thing. I use a little bit of lemon juice in the pies, in the apple pies. So I already have some lemons uh, from last week. I think that's it. We, when we went to Walmart, I got a couple of things of wrapping paper because I'm super crazy and I already started my Christmas shopping and I got quite a few things. So I needed to wrap some things and... So I got wrapping paper and I got some Christmas labels. They were super, super cheap, super cute. Because I love Christmas. I love holidays. So anyway, I think that's it. Oh, I got a couple of, uh, of art supplies from Walmart for some of the crafting things I'm going to do. I got some crayons and this is going to be do going with some pumpkin stuff that I got. Um, yeah, you'll see. That's upcoming with some glue sticks. And I got a little glue gun, which I needed one. Sorry, I've got so much stuff in front of me right now that you can't see. You can still see the top of things. Um, and I also have this project in mind, which I'm going to paint these elephants that I got at Target. I got two of them. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Elephants are my favorite. Some of my favorite things. One of my favorite things, I should say. So I wanted to paint these, and so I got some gray 
um, paint, some acrylic paint, metallic. I got like a silver and then a, a darker gray. And I also got some glitter, some glitter glue. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I need some masking tape, which my husband said he was going to bring me. I don't think he did because I forgot to remind him. Or I might paint them and give them to my niece, my little niece, Symphony, who is my sister. It's just decorating her room. She just moved. So maybe these would be cute to give to her. We'll see. Anyway, that's it, you guys. That is a Trader Joe's, Walmart, Home Goods, uh, Target. I don't know. Did I get anything from Target here? No, I don't think I did. We also went to Costco, uh, but we just got water and what else? Mm, Movie tickets. Almond. Almonds. Yeah, not much. Not much. I think we got out of there with like 40, spending 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which never happens. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys like the haul. I'll see you again soon for the tutorials. I hope you guys like them. Uh, like, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd like to keep continuing do this, doing this. Um, I also have, I'm, I'm using a new speaker. This, uh, I forget what it's called. Anyway, I'll talk about it again one day. Uh, I think that's it for now. But, do so you want to say bye? I'm just say bye. <laughs> this is ah, my he's phone. So cute. Uh, he's on Facebook right now. Anyway, sorry, I look so super tired. I try to make myself presentable. So I literally was like in pajamas. What time is it? Like 2 o'clock? 1 o'clock? One, it's 1 o'clock. And I did some schoolwork this morning and I'm done. I'm so done. But I have more to do. Pep, wake up. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.